Wednesday in Holy Week, welcome to Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We're reading from Michel Croix's book, Prayers of Life. And tonight, a reading about the man who helped Jesus to carry his cross uh, on the road to Golgotha on Good Friday. His name was Simon of Cyrene. He was an African. And in the Bible, it tells us in Mark chapter 15, and led him away to be crucified. As for his cross, they forced a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry it one Simon of Cyrene. And Michel Croix writes this beautiful prayer about the, this incident. He passed by on the road. They pressed him into service, the first to come along, a stranger. Lord, you accepted his help. You did not want the help of a friend, the solace, of a gesture of love, the generous impulse of one who cared. You chose the enforced help of an indifferent and timid fellow. Lord all-powerful, you sought the help of a powerless man. By your own choosing, you are in need of us. Lord, I need others. The way is too hard to be trodden alone. But I avoid the hands outstretched to help me. I want to act alone. I want to fight alone. I want to succeed alone. And yet, beside me walks a friend, a spouse, a sister, a neighbor, a fellow worker. You have placed them near me, Lord, and too often I ignore them. And yet it is together that we shall save the world. Lord, even if they are requisitioned, grant that I may see, that I may accept all the Simons on my road. And now we continue with the confession. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord. I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every nation, a light to reveal you to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Let us bring to the Lord all our needs, our fears, our 
joys and our sorrows. And let us continue to pray for those who have asked uh, for our prayers and for those that we may not know or even ever know who are working at this time like Simon of Cyrene did to carry the burden of others. Let us pray. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness, and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and those whom you love and pray for, this Wednesday night at all.